This method can help to answer key questions in the field of mosquito-borne diseases, such as whether or not a mosquito species is a competent vector for a certain virus. The main advantage of this method is that a large amount of mosquitoes can be analyzed simultaneously without the use of laboratory animals like mice. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because it needs fine motor skills that can only be acquired through practice. Visual demonstration of this technique is critical as the key steps are difficult to learn. They require experience with the handling of mosquito and viruses and also fine motor skills. To begin, dilute the virus stock. Then, mix expired human blood with fructose, filtrated bovine serum, and the virus stock. Freeze 140 microliters of blood meal mix for further analysis via TCID50. Next, put two 50 microliter droplets of the blood meal mix in a plastic vial and allow the mosquitoes to feed for two hours. After anesthetizing the mosquitoes, count the fully engorged individuals, and transfer them to a new vial containing a cotton pad soaked in fructose. Then, maintain the mosquitoes at 27 degrees Celsius and 80% humidity for 14 or 21 days. Replenish the fructose-saturated cotton pads every 72 hours with 1.5 milliliters of fructose. First, seed 20,000 Vero cells per well in a 96-well plate with supplemented...